hopefully I don't um, rip it in half. I couldn't... Welcome back, spooky cuties, or welcome to my hilariously low-budget channel. Tis I, of course, your ghost host with <laughs> the most, Patricia Absinthe, here to bring you possibly a boring idea. Maybe you've wondered, too. Maybe you've bought it before yourself in the past, like, decade or so. But either way, I haven't before, so let's do this. So, as you probably read by that title, I want to see if this wish corset dress is worth how interesting I've thought it was since I was a kid. Is it worth it? Like, so crinkly. <laughs> so, I have tried my fair share of corsets. I have quite a collection of both really good, really bad absolutely gorgeous and really sad <laughs> so i have a decent repertoire of experience with them and this already feels pretty weak and of course the tutu seems pretty meh but hey i have wanted to try this i have wanted to buy this since i was a kid and i just always put off doing so so, of course, when I was on Wish, just scrolling to see what kind of Wish products that I could test that I always wanted to, I was like, hey, it's time. It's time I tested the shitty Wish corset dress. <laughs> so, for the skirt, I mean, hey, it's softer than I thought. Like, it's definitely still cheap lace, but it's actually not the worst lace I've ever touched. I was expecting scratchy, scratchy tools, so hey, I approve. Waist seems pretty stretchy, definitely very short, although I can't say that I don't own skirts of that length. Uh, hey, it went on. I mean, I can't show you everything right now, but... Okay, not bad. The corset. This is the true test. Oh, ew, it came with one of those thongs. Has anyone actually worn these? Seriously? <laughs> Not even for photo shoots back in the day would I wear these. These are so uncomfortable. So not cute. Ugh. The only thing they're good for is, I don't know, doing an exaggerated eye patch like a pirate. <laughs> and I sized up for the boobs. So I got a medium instead of a small. And I feel like the corset part should work. But the cups still seem suspicious. <laughs> I didn't even realize it had cups at first. I sized up usually as the boobs are always a problem. Oh, okay. We'll see. So either... <laughs> um, 50-50 right now. Quality. It's not the worst cheap corset I have ever owned. Definitely not the best cheap corset I've ever owned. Uh, that's including some of the ones that just straight out had the boning come out. I think judging by how pliable these are, these aren't even like the spiral steel shitty ones that still come out and stab you. This feels like the plastic boning. And of which, I mean, I didn't pay a lot, but I still paid like 30 bucks for this. So some... $10 AliExpress quality. <laughs> so for future reference, um, your corset should not <laughs> be this pliable. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'm going to go grab a good one and, and show you what I mean. No, I didn't have to go far. <laughs> so this one 
steel steel bones. Of course it is our fuck who's it from? Oh yeah, it's Orchard Corset. So this one is a pretty green. This one's a waspy, so that means it's pre You get what I mean. Like it, it pre hourglassed, it doesn't like awkwardly cinch kind of in places. Anyway, so this one, good quality. You can feel the weight to it. This one was more expensive. I got it off of Poshmark, thankfully. So I think I only paid like $70. And normally it's at least a couple hundred, but. Oh damn, that does not prove my point. It still looks wiggly and... Okay, less so. So it's still pliable. I don't know. I wish I could hand this to you and you could feel, but like... So same amount of force. Okay, yeah. <laughs> It's like the difference between trying to bend a plastic fork and a metal fork. <laughs> okay, so this one I can completely sandwich. And this one, my noodle arm strength. No. <laughs> like, you still want them bendable, but... Oh, this one, I'd say at least a three pound corset and this, <laughs> this, if I attach this to my knee nerve ring, wouldn't even make my anything sag, like, <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of the difference between like a good corset versus, <sighs> what do you even call it the Halloween quality? I don't know. I'll quit stalling and put it on. One moment, please. Quick uh, struggle update. It looks like at some point, it's hard to see. The see got fucked up. So this will take a second. Hopefully, I don't um, rip it in half. I couldn't unstick the zipper, so I had the brilliant idea of trying to put. <laughs> See, this is why, unless they sponsored me, ooh, I wouldn't order from Fuck. <laughs> unless they sent them to me, I wouldn't order from Perfect Corset. Because as gorgeous as they are, <sighs> I prefer when they have a busk and you're able to well, all right, it seems this cheap corset party has not ended yet. I'm obviously wearing a bodysuit, so I'm going to uh, struggle off camera. <laughs> well, I think I answered the question on quality, so I think you'd have to do, like, at least two sizes or more up. If you have big boobs, you're screwed. And not only that, the zipper is so cheap that, uh... <laughs> I got help. And instead, we got it almost to the top. And it just broke. So, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go with not so good zero cup space and uh yeah um yep this is my life now <laughs> here i'm gonna put on another well I'll see if i can break myself out of this one <laughs> see that's how cheap the zipper is <laughs> i was just able to bend it off so i'm gonna put on a different overbust cheap corset for um comparison purposes so this one was a size small also ridiculously cheap number one because of the busk 
it actually closed. Like, it's not even good quality, and it still actually went on. <sighs> Look at that cinch. I think I spent like 10 to $15 on this one. finger. Okay. So due to the cheap nature, it's still not perfect, but um, number one, it went on without breaking in half. Like, Size small, also cost like 10 bucks. I paid more for that one. <laughs> See, this is what I was expecting. And I was expecting to be like, oh yeah, it's cheap quality, but at least, you know, it still gets the job done. Nope. <laughs> so, I need to quickly style this and um give you the final result now that i'm wearing a corset <laughs> that is so painful <laughs> bright green corset obviously body suit showing um i just added on some jewelry almost annihilated my highlighter this is just a vintage lip service Blackless sweater. Hoi. That's a skirt. <laughs> I just have these fishnets on. And yeah. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen this since you were a kid and always wondered, if you should, I would personally say you should. <laughs> so now I am stuck with this and either I can try to figure out if I can fix it. I think it got a little bent or see if maybe my best friend can fit in it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with that to no. <laughs> But okay, we have established not even sizing up will work with this. It's like for this one, if I want it truly over bust, I mean, I've got, I got a tiny bit of space. So maybe if I sized up on this corset, it would have maybe gone higher, but it definitely would lose the effect. Anyways, lovelies, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're going to order nostalgic things online, maybe be a bit more careful than I was. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay warm, stay spooky, and maybe I'll see you in the next clothing review. <laughs>